All right, so I'm going to be doing a mic comparison today. We're going to be using the uh, DJI Mic 1 over here against the DJI Mic 2. Yeah, so we're just going to be doing some photography today, checking out the uh, Iwatsuyama Monkey Park, Bamboo Forest, Gion later on. But yeah, just going to be doing some photography in these places and testing out the audio of both these mics while we're out there. I'm going to be switching it back and forth and showing off which one I'm using on the screen somewhere. Other than the gain levels, I won't be doing any adjustments to the, uh, the audio. So what you hear is what, straight out of both mics. All right, let's get started because I got to start walking up this mountain. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, here we go, getting started. Frank's already moving over here. Let me know if you wanna take a break. I am not gonna stop us from doing that. If I didn't have the backpack, it'd be better. Oh, obviously. <laughs> if I didn't have anything, it would be so hey, no, if thing wasn't uphill, it'd be so much easier, right? <laughs> we made it to the top. It wasn't that bad of a walk, actually. But you get this awesome view of Kyoto while you're up here. It's not that bad of a walk, I'm trying to catch my breath. You made it, Frank. I made it. You made it. It was easy. <laughs> it is a little windy up here. It's not too bad, though. I do have the wind muffs on both these mics. So hopefully it's not too bad. So here you are at the top of the monkey park. It's cool to see. It's only 600 yen to get up here. The hike isn't bad. It's just uh, me and Frank's bags are super heavy. We're geniuses and overpack our bags. <laughs> But after this, I think I headed over to Bamboo Forest. So let's get some quick shots and then head down there. I already Thomas Heaton some of it. I already Thomas Heaton did. Because the way Thomas Heaton would do this is he would set this up on a tripod and then you would be like, look at me, I'm taking pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're switching lenses? Oh, you're doing the, your POV stuff. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna like hybrid it because that, again, the way Thomas would do it is he would set up the tripod uh, do a composition of himself yeah, and yeah. talk to the camera and this is the layout, but see, that's the thing. It's not with one particular layout, I'm going to be moving around. Yeah, yeah. Thomas Heaton is this guy's uh, his role model over here, by yeah. the way. So if you're watching this, Thomas Heaton, follow Frank. Yeah. <laughs> He's your number one fan. I think I'm doing this right here and then I'll finish it off with Heaton. Yeah, I kind of want to switch my lens to the, at least the 24-105. The 55 yeah, is not close yeah, enough sure. for these guys. Sure. You're not recording. Right? <laughs> Everything's recording, man. <laughs> Everything's recording. And why are you recording everything? <laughs> I'm doing the mic test today. So, switching yeah. between mics. Welcome to the National Monkey Park. Please keep distance over two meters. Please don't touch monkeys. Please don't stare monkey's eye. Please don't pick up any food on the ground. I need to switch lenses. This uh, 55 isn't close enough, and I don't think they want me walking up to their faces to take their photos. So let's switch the lenses here. All right, I finally switched lenses. I got the 24 to 105, so I can get a lot closer now than when I was using just that 55 prime. So <laughs> let's get a lot closer to these monkeys now. Let's get some better shots. This is funny. It looks like the uh, the humans are in the zoo, yeah, and the monkeys yeah, are the ones the hanging. Monkeys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the monkeys are checking out the uh, Planet of the Apes here. Got Frank over here. He's uh, cleaning himself real quick. Yeah, let's go around this part over here. You used to be able to go all the way up there, but it looks like they roped it off for some reason. I'm not sure why. We can still go up a little bit though. And here it is. Let's just keep it from here. You used to be able to go all the way up, but uh, not today. I'm hoping for like a monkey to chill out on, on top so I can get the, the city in the background. Yeah, yeah. Not too much. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's young. <laughs> yes. Apparently that's the, the naughty one there. He had a shed out, shoo him away. That's funny. Oh, they weren't joking. It really is the, uh, the troublemaker. Dude, that was that one. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was the, the small one there. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's like I really don't need the 800 millimeter because they're, they're right here. Yeah, they're pretty close. Yeah, they're right here. So you call? <laughs> I'm gonna go to this building and see if I can shoot some uh, some monkeys in there. Hey, Am I? Oh no! I'm on... I just realized I've been shooting with a human eye autofocus here, like a genius that I am. Yeah, 
But yeah, this is new. I don't know if they installed this only, like just during the uh, the winter time, but it hasn't been here the two time, other times I've been here. Looks like they just makeshift this thing, just built a hole right there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we get really close to these guys, you can feed them. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back out actually, there's not really much to shoot in here. All right, so we just finished up over at the uh, Monkey Park and now we're at the Arishiyama Bamboo Forest. I don't have a bright enough lens for this. Yeah, no, I know. My my 6.3 and 5.3. Yeah. yeah it's tough. What do you have? F4 though, right? Yeah. You'll be okay. I, I, right? Yeah, I have a little bit better. You'll do, you'll, you'll do good with that. I technically have my 1.8 in my back, but it's a 50, 55, yeah. You using fish out here? Yeah, I'm just gonna do fish. That's actually pretty smart, yeah. It's pretty smart. Shoot up or shoot in this direction. Yeah. We're not gonna spend that much time. No, it's not, it's not really yeah. I told you, it's like, it's one of those things that you, you just see and then. Might do a slow shutter. Okay. Where You're gonna hold it? Disappears You're gonna hold it? With the tripod. Okay, I'm about to say. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I'm using a 24105. It's F4 though. It's a little bit dark down there. I should switch to 1.8 that I have, but it's a 50. That's not gonna be fun to shoot with. Here's a dollar store Thomas Heaton over here, waiting for this guy to get in here. I've been here at least four times to Kyoto, and every time I come to the Bamboo Forest, it's always late. This is sadly like the most light I've actually seen here at the Bamboo Forest. <laughs> it's fine though. One of these days, I'll actually see it with some sun. Doesn't look that bad on camera, but in my eyes, it's, it's pretty dim. My lowest at F4 here. I was shooting at one over a thousand. Drops it down to one over 200. ISO 6400, I need the, as much help I can get in this thing. It's pretty dark. Sadly, Frank's my model right now. He doesn't know it, but. <laughs> I lost Frank. He, he belongs to the band before us now. Oh, he's there, he's taking shots. I knew it. That's it? Yeah. But last time I came here, it was late. It was dark, almost no sun. I was able to get a good shot of just myself here with no one in the background. I had to use a slow shutter, but it worked out. I'll post a photo up somewhere, somewhere over here. I'll post it up. I don't know. I think it might be the better time to go is when it's dark and everyone's avoiding this place. <laughs> that or I'm assuming very early in the morning. But yep, let's, uh, let's finish this up. I think he's gonna do one more shot. He's, he's trying to do like a slow shutter shot and then we'll head out. How'd it come out, the shot? I think good. Okay. Yeah. I actually might do one something. one thumbnail shot here. Yeah, let's do it. Just to see if it works here. If not, then yeah. I'll have a backup. At least you have something. Yeah. yeah. Do I need to take this tape off? Just leave the tape on. Leave the tape on. Take it off. Yeah, no. Leave it on, and then Photoshop DJI on there. One, one, two. <laughs> yeah. Right, one, two. Okay. Take it off. Like that. You're not photoshopping anything. You know I'm not. Closer or further? Let no, me know. You're good. You're good. Let's take it. Now do the jean one, a little bit more like. Like that? Yeah. Bring it. Oh. No, you're good. No, no, no. That way more. Yes. Oh, what's my facial supposed to be? <laughs> Whatever works. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah, that was much better than me right in the, down the middle. You, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good call. Good call. That's why you... You, you like the angle more? Yeah, that's why you get paid to what you do uh -huh. for what you do. All right, so quick change of plans because it takes like an hour for some reason to get from here to Gion. We're heading back to the rooms for a little bit and then to Osaka from there. Yeah, that's right? perfect. Yeah. I take that. Reload our bags because I got the wrong lenses here. This F4 is going to be absolutely useless for me there. Actually, it's not. It's actually pretty bright over there because all the lights. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually not, F4 is yeah. not that bad. Yeah, the biggest situation is it rains tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're battling that's with the rain the tomorrow, so we're trying situation. to figure out. That, that, that's why we have this change of plan because of the rain tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, we've made it to Osaka. Headed over to. Graiko man, but I, I know it's the better area for name for the area, not just Glyco man. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call it. Yeah, that's stupid. Dotonbori district, all right. I've been trying to ride this Ferris wheel here, and it looks like it's closed again. <laughs> I don't know why, every time I'm here it's closed. It's not even like anything special now, I just want to try to ride it. Oh no, I'm definitely going to find him now. I know Frank's here somewhere. I don't know how I'm gonna find him. Oh, I found him. Let's get this boat coming down. I did that ferry last time, not really worth it. it. Takes you down there a little bit, then it makes a U-turn, comes right back around. You can see the exact same thing, just walking down the strip though. But still, uh, if you got nothing else to do, you can sit down, relax. Dude, I lost him again. I just saw him and I lost him. 
Oh, there he is. Down there? Oh, he's right here. Yeah. I'm going to head on down here so I can get it from the front. I'm going to follow you because this place is kind of crazy. Oh. But at least I switched my lenses. Still using the A7R 3 but I switched to the 24 1.4. I have the 55 in my bag. Probably not going to pull that one out. It's pretty, it's, it's a really tight lens for this kind of area. Sticking with 24, wish it was wider, not going to lie though. I'm like stopping them for people. I thought they're taking photos. They're like actually looking at the phones. Let's see if I can get this with the, uh... oh, I can't because this lens isn't wide enough. God, no. <laughs> the cruise boat. I'm telling you though, it's not really worth it. <laughs> There's a huge boat coming by with some big billboard. Yeah, I've never seen this area all the times I've been in Osaka. crazy. I know it's emergency and stuff, but even the fire truck's a little bit cute. <laughs> oh man, I, of course I know all that happening. I lost, there he is. The guy holding the camera up. Easy to find. I'm actually curious about how audio is sounding on this one because there's a lot more people here, there's a lot more crowded, a lot more noise happening, especially like loudspeakers over here. Definitely different compared to like Monkey Forest earlier in the Bamboo Forest. Definitely different feel. You see how everyone's taking photos with a security camera by the way? Yeah, this is a pointer right here at this wall. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, yeah. Are you really going in line? Yeah, of course. This guy really is going in line. What are you talking about? Yeah. This guy needs to see a photo of himself. And now I'm going to have to do it too because now I'm standing behind you. Yeah, no, like, you have to. What, what are you talking about? Bro? But here we go. Right here. Center, center. Looking good. Oh, of course. There you go. <laughs> All right, so my gachapon for today. I think we're going with this one here. It's like a little praying animals and I'm hoping I get that Shiba one. What do we get here? It doesn't look like a Shiba. <laughs> what is that? I got this, this platypus thing instead. All right, well, there's my gacha pond for today. Let's go out and take a photo of this thing and then, and then finally find something to eat. Gonna have to manually focus this thing. Everything's all bulked in the background of the picture. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I think I have a few hours left here before the last train to Osaka. Not Osaka. Kyoto. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and my battery's dying. So let me conserve this for a little bit. And then uh, hopefully film a little bit more before I head back. All right, so it's about midnight and we just got back to Kyoto Station. Frank still has energy somehow. I don't know how he still has energy after hiking up the mountain. Oh, good. We're good. <laughs> Walking through the bamboo forest, making our trek, hour trek all the way to Osaka. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. We basically caught the last uh, train back from uh, Osaka over here. So you missed that last train, you're, you're stuck where you're at for a while, and That's how it is. Huh? Yeah, because the cabs aren't cheap. I, like, our ride back, for, uh, our train ride back was uh, 800 yen, roughly, for everything. And uh, if you want to take a, a cab back, uh, according to Google Maps anyways, it was 22,000 yen. Oh. I think 850 is a better choice. <laughs> but I am glad our hotel's right here. It still makes no sense how cheap it is for being right next to the station. All right, so I'm finally home to edit the footage and both mics sound great. And sometimes I honestly couldn't tell the difference between the mic one and the mic two. Now, if you're interested in these mics and you don't own either of them, I would obviously say go with the mic two, especially if you own the Osmo Pocket 3 or the Action 4 and the 32-bit float helps too. <laughs> but if you already own the DJI Mic 1, honestly, it sounds great. And there's no real reason to upgrade uh, unless you really want that internal 32-bit float in here, which is which is nice, honestly. All right, if you have any questions about these mics, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Or if you want to know more about Frank's love for Thomas Heaton, let me know too. <laughs> See you.